Hi, I'm Paris Hilton. My lash is falling off. Am I gonna glue it back on? No, because, brother, I need to go to bed. Yeah, I wanted to make this video simply because I'm doing a rebrand, right? I know there's only 171 people here, aka nobody. Um, no offense. <laughs> intellectual obviously i'm not that big so i don't really have to announce this but i feel like i should because even if it's just one person that's interested at least you know at least you get an explanation i'll tell you what i do now currently my majority of videos are reviews it's like and they're niche down because these are niche videos right because you can only watch these videos if you watch the tv show you can't just jump into one of my videos and be behind on the season you know what i mean you need to watch from the episode that you watch from so you can't just be skipping ahead you kind of have to do some legwork before you watch my video that's why it makes it niche it's easier to like drop that type of content every week because it's kind of the same video every week because it's low effort my videos that blow up aren't tv show reviews they're mainly to do with other topics and i don't do those often they're kind of like random videos but they do well i did a fashion video and look at me i i think i've worn this in like three videos i don't i'm not a fashion babe i just know like i can acknowledge what looks bad i know what looks bad i did that video and i gained 101 subscribers from that and then i gained a bunch of other subscribers from a hair video that i did even though tv reviews is what i do most of the time it's not where most of my subscribers come from most of my subscribers come from my other videos right and obviously because they're coming from other videos that have nothing to do with my main videos therefore they're not really trying to subscribe because there's no type of like pipeline because in order for someone to subscribe to someone's channel they have to usually watch at least three videos right they usually have to watch three videos before they're like mm, you know what i like this person i'm gonna subscribe and i don't have that simply because i'm too niche down and i'm not saying that i don't enjoy doing tv reviews yeah it's fun Grownish is fun, yeah? I'm not saying Grownish is some Emmy award-winning TV show, I'll be real. Like, I enjoy doing Grownish because it's 20 minutes. Literally. Every other show I've tried to do that's like an hour, I can't. It's so draining. I tried to do Gossip Girl, wasn't enjoying myself. I tried to do Euphoria, wasn't enjoying myself. I tried to do Raising Canaan, wasn't enjoying myself. Oh my gosh, because the episodes are so long. I have to memorize, I have to stop, I have to take notes, I have to do so much in order to review the episode. I miss out on being a viewer. I don't get to just enjoy the show, which sucks. It removes like the entertainment value from it. So that's what makes it draining. And then obviously I have to sift through that long footage. But obviously Grownish is just 20 minutes in it. So that's why i still do it um but it's ending soon so i feel like i'll continue it until it ends so i can have a complete playlist of as many as i was able to do but the main reason i'm doing a rebrand apart from subscribers is because if i was a viewer if i was a complete stranger coming across my channel watching a video that i like thinking oh this is good and then i saw my channel let me just show you if i saw the state of my current channel i would not subscribe this is not a channel for me and it, i need to make it a channel for me i know what i expect from the youtubers i watch and i'm not giving that i need to be given that i'll be real and i'm not saying like i have high standards or whatever but i need it to be clear enough for my brain to be like oh i definitely want to watch this i need to i need it to be a thing of i look through my thumbnails and think wow this is really nice this is good this is good i'm proud of myself i need to be able to know that i would approve my channel you know what I mean? I would go out and recommend it. Because I I go out and recommend Kelly Stamps videos. Do you see Kelly Stamps YouTube? Like, let me show you, right? Basically, it's very clear. You can see the majority of the thumbnails are formatted in the same way. It's not like copy and paste. Everything's differentiated. But they all have the same kind of vibe. So first of all, it already has a look. So if it was to come up on your recommended homepage, you would know, oh, automatically that that's that youtuber because i feel like it's important that i would be a viewer of my own videos because if i wouldn't subscribe to my videos why should you i would be gaining more subscribers if i wasn't so niche down 
because someone that's coming to my channel from a hair video they're looking at these show reviews and thinking right well, i can't watch this because i haven't watched this season i haven't watched this episode i've never watched this show in my life so it's like it kind of gatekeeps my content the niche is gatekeeping my content i'll be real because it's not a thing of i don't make quality content my, my my reviews are funny but if i can be funny in a video that i post to the general public i should do that but yeah this video doesn't have to be that long it's just me saying that i'm rebranding most of my videos are show reviews so i'm gonna private them but i'm gonna put them in the playlist so they can still be accessed but they're not gonna be clunking up i think i'm gonna go from this uh, this i'm saying this with a question mark because obviously i haven't done it yet obviously i only have 171 subscribers i say only is an achievement for me it's an achievement because i haven't promoted this anywhere it's simply just youtube and the algorithm that i've been gaining this from but yeah honorable mentions to penny stamps not because she said this advice verbatim but because i watched her videos and i noticed i've i'm addicted like I was watching her videos back to back. I was like, I haven't had this experience in a long time. I haven't had this since I was really addicted to video games. But yeah, whoever you are, thanks for watching my video. Shout out to Hashim and Tazar. These are my two friends that watch my videos. Thanks guys. <laughs> you don't have to comment. It's completely fine.